it out, let's check it out. Let's make sure we're coming in live. And there we are. Nice, nice, nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is July 15th, 2021. We're three weeks into summer of 2021. Three weeks and a day, I believe. Fun times, fun times, exciting times, exciting times. And today's live stream is investing in personal finance. Let's look at the stock market part two. We already did initial part where I can't remember exactly what we looked at, but we sort of talked in general about uh, stocks, looked at uh, some information and whatnot cosmic visions <laughs> let's go how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream and uh, what we're going to do today we're going to continue on uh with looking at data okay uh we, you know i took out a chicho live at night time <laughs> sorry how you doing chicho my man it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> I saw your comment about the um, video I put up today. <laughs> Salutations. <laughs> Gotta pour myself a drink on that news, eh? Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We got your info regarding the movies. Looks like a beautiful evening in BC. It is. It's been it's phenomenal, right? It's phenomenal. Now that the temperature is stabilized to, you know, average temperature. is a little bit hotter than average, really but super nice man super nice um some of the trees need a little water though enjoy the stream see ya see you later cosmic visions hope you're having a good evening okay um and uh what we're gonna do in the stream is basically um i got a couple of websites opened up we're gonna look at some um data uh some of the metrics that we can look at the charts um, we could talk about anywhere wherever people wanted to go but in in general I have that prepared and no rush on anything we can always talk about uh, whatever we want whenever we want right sleepways wow there are so much light where you are yeah yeah it's late it's late uh, afternoon East Coast yeah in Canada like it doesn't we've already gone past the longest day of the year that's uh, June 21st right so when you get into the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere well in the flip year six months later um the days when they get long they get really long it's it's pretty cool like we you know longest day of the year we have light until like 10 10 o'clock at night right uh starts light starts coming up at like four o'clock uh, birds are singing chirp 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 uh, while we wait for notifications to go out, gang, a uh, little intro. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, if you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics. And this is a good example of how this stuff is layered on mathematics as we dig down into the into the charts. Um, you can follow the work there and find out what this is about. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of the support, your support, that we're able to do this. And as you can tell, we're covering as much ground as possible. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, thank you again for the support. Sleepy Ways, excited for today's stream. Been looking forward to it. Awesome, awesome. We'll see where it goes, where it takes us. There's some information I'd like to share. Um, but if people have questions and whatnot, we could just focus on that stuff. Okay. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, chat, chat where we can get it going we can get the chat going just like this watch this 
just like this boom if you want to participate in chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube and for those of you who are really just only interested in personal finance and investing and stuff like this Julian Assange is very much related to your financial independence if you haven't figured it out yet. Because if we don't have accountability and transparency of capital as power, you and me are pretty much screwed. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you want to be able to accumulate enough wealth for you and your family and your bloodline to be well off, right, or to be at least content with what they want in life you need to support journalists and publishers like julian assange because they are holding power capital accountable for us okay if you want to follow this work i am on minds vk gab parlor bitclout and other forums coming up okay any of forums uh, where they do not censor we are no longer on twitter garbage disclaimer family has puts on twitter okay and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up i'll put the bit clout in there as well later on and we have a discord page discord server where you can join um, open discussion there and talk about whatever you want may it be music asmr food gardening politics or economics and personal finance sorry fuck hyper capitalism what's your opinion on a married couple combining incomes into one account i'm strongly opposed to it i am opposed to it as well sorry uh basically uh, and by the way in canada they changed the laws it's no longer as beneficial for taxation purposes uh, I just found this out recently, um, <laughs> not because I'm married, but because uh, I, I've had interactions and I have interactions with personal finance advisors and whatnot, and they informed me that the tax benefits of getting married have been reduced in Canada. I'm not sure how it works where it is in the United States, but if you're getting married to be able to save on taxes, right, you're doing it wrong, okay? You can form a corporation and save way more on taxes than you would on a marriage that's insane right and a corporation you can dissolve with in general much less hassle than the corporate entity that you people create when they introduce a centralized power into their personal intimate relationships may it be church may it be state may it be whatever it is you're giving them power over your estate up to you if you want to do it uh, i personally vote against it unless it's 100 percent necessary okay and sometimes it is sometimes it is don't get me wrong and some people uh, and by the way disclaimer when there's children involved it's a different game because when there are children involved you actually i believe have more rights over the children if you're a married couple than you would be if you weren't married right so i'm just talking non-married people when you have and this is like any corporation right when it's changing direction right uh getting into uh areas that they did not were not in right <laughs> regarding taxation protection whatever it is right a purpose right then you have to reevaluate your corporation that you have created on that marriage sleepaway zari marriage stems from capitalism and heteronormative backwards ideals <laughs> we will be up and that was leaving ways and we will be up um uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com as a podcast and you can follow this work on soundcloud if you just want to listen to these live streams the ones where we don't have any visuals we do have visuals for this one but we'll see where it goes okay and those podcasts should be available on uh, 
SoundCloud on um, Spotify and iTunes as well okay or your favorite podcasting platforms and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to pitch to the rumble and to odyssey i can't see the discussion taking us anywhere where we will not be able to upload this full live stream to sensor tube okay and again gang thank you for the collective support that you're showing us on all these platforms it is in large part uh, because of the support that we're getting here that we're able to do what it is that we are doing let me take these guys down sleep away i want to see the stream go into the wall street game today <laughs> which one what wall street game today i don't know i don't know it's the forum you're talking about on the site that censors a lot <laughs> crazy stuff and gang let me let me show you loomer 9198 hicho just curious is there any reason you avoid using the word capitalism whenever you do these economic political discussions um i don't avoid using the word capitalism capitalist power is in large part in reference to capitalism right it's just another way of saying capitalism in large part but it's broader capitalism think about think about any hierarchy right any hierarchy you have for example you have relations you have functions you got polynomial functions you got exponentials duh, 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 duh. so any type of hierarchical system capitalism is just one branch of capitalist power right so uh to me like capitalist power you could have capitalism whoever has the most can do the most uh capital is power right whoever controls the most amount of information has the most am amount of power whoever controls whatever you want right maybe education system may be commodities may be oil may be capital as power right capitalism would just narrow us down to a smaller branch why would we i mean we can we can do that we're going to do that with uh the market so for example take a look uh we're going to look at wall street or i you know i've i've had the set up there to look for wall street if i change the angle we got this thing going on we can bring up doop, my the twitch thing comes up here let me close off this doop. oh yeah let me and i'll turn off the chat and i'll turn it back on again the chat box will take off turn off so it doesn't interfere with the chat on the side but basically we're going to look at you know we're going to go to market watch and take a look at the uh, charts take a look at a 50 day 200 day moving average and start looking at some of the interpretation of some of the names this is capitalism we're going to look at a different chart as well right this another page i'm not you know i just started looked into market watch last couple of days because i have you know there are our own platforms any trading account you use has their own pro platforms where you can do your metrics so this is general you can do this on any platform right we got definitions that we're going to look up for investophobia and i got google finance set up because it's one of the things that i do use to look at the metrics of some of the things so this is very much very much capitalist power as far as i'm concerned um i hope that answered your question sleep away she showed before we get into stocks can you quickly explain to me what you think of what's coming out from Cuba. I don't really believe people calling for the freedom of Cuba because I don't think they really understand what's going on there. No, I think most people don't. Most people are propagandized up the yin yang, especially like, and but let me finish up, but I don't live in Cuba and never been, so I'm not sure. What's happening in Cuba, demonstrations in Cuba, it's like talking about a little breeze blowing relative to a storm category five storm that's sweeping through france and greece and and colombia and uh the, the united states and canada and the uk what's going on in cuba is the minimum the smallest demonstrations that you can talk about where people are having against capitalist power to a certain degree and cuba fits that category right so if anybody's really pushing cuba in a big way uh, they're watching too much uh, american propaganda right it, it 
reevaluate where you're getting your information because there's a lot bigger stuff going on, right? And there's people demonstrating in, outside of Cuba, and, you know, there's Cubans, um, diaspora, but it's not diaspora. It's a huge, you know, in Miami and stuff like this. So the Cuban situation is... Uh, is way more complicated than oh there's demonstrations in cuba where people want freedom but wait a second what about the million people in france what about the million people in greece what about the million plus people in the uk why isn't anyone talking about or the corporate propaganda is talking about that evil to hope hi choo choo hello how are you doing clandestine hey chicho i know it's not movie night but i just want to ask have you ever watched the uh, Requiem for a Dream for sure movie Requiem for a Dream indeed I watched it recently and really liked it and it effed me up for 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 a night just for a night man it, it, it effed me up for a for a week it's a pretty intense movie man brilliant movie by the way very good movie Elder God Cuba ain't calling for freedom but the vaccine according to the Biden red hand girl indeed like this is insane and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and wikileaks playlist on censor 2 evil to hope I agree choo choo we should nuke Canada just stop general friends so <laughs> blame it on canada wasn't that a south park episode a couple of them at least um so gang I, i'm not sure what you guys want to talk about um there have been people talking asking me to do these personal finance streams um uh, to talk about some stuff and i can give you a rundown of you know just the basic just the first level that i take a look at um uh, the information before looking a little bit deeper into the company and possibly if someone's asking me to look into a stock for them uh, to see if i want to you know if they should pull the trigger or not right and for today's tonight's snacks i got plums i picked a whole bunch of plums today i want to pick four buckets of plums i took a pick i'm going to post it on our discord right amazing plums just up the street from us right i uh, i went there took my little step ladder the greens the reds doesn't make a difference juicy 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 watch this it just into disintegrates you can't see it but you'll know what it is take a look have you ever seen a plum disintegrate this fast amazing juicy juicy i got some hazelnuts here that's the seed of the plum Right. hazelnuts as well Ooh. delicious hazelnuts unsalted evil to hold what is the best first investment you put most of your money into what is the best first investment that i put most of my money into <laughs> um legit money or play money like i started playing around with making money when i was really young i would flip things i would flip things right you don't eat the pits no not the plums it it, it would hurt on the way in and it would hurt on the way out you don't want to eat plum seeds on <laughs> these ones. <laughs> Sleepy waves, Chicho. When you are looking at basic metrics for stocks, can you walk us through what you look at for sure? And what questions you ask yourself while looking at the data? Done deal, Sleepy Waves. We do. Clandestine. We, we have plums in our garden, but they don't look uh, that good. Mm, they might make a, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a good jam if they like these ones these ones look really good actually these ones look great these ones look beautiful right they're like really nice but um i've had i've looked at some bad plum like bad ugly plums that make amazing jams evil to hope you want legit okay 
how uh, the, what's what's the, what's the magnitude legend? <laughs> like it really depends. Like for example, here I'll give you one example. Uh, one of the uh, places that, where I went, wow, that's pretty serious money. Uh, in 1992, I believe, I went to a comic book convention. I was I was collecting comic books, and I was, and prices were going pretty high. So I decided to sell some comic books. So I got a table at a Toronto uh, comic book convention right set up a table and i was buying valiants early on i loved them no one was buying them. i was buying them i bought multiple copies and all of a sudden the prices went through the roof and i decided okay they've gone up a lot at that time they moved like insane relative to any other comics right like really relative to any other comics these things were moving like bitcoin level insanity right like a comic that you had bought like you know four months ago six months ago for two dollars or three dollars 225 or something was now selling for a hundred right so I went, okay i need to you know liquidate so i can buy some more buy different diversify right so i went to this convention paid i think at the time 300 dollars for the table I got a friend of mine to help me out and i took my comics and it was 300 or 400 i can't remember maybe 250 i can't remember like 1992 just imagine right set up two tables doop, doop. I, I took a corner i paid a little extra to get the corner so i got the corner people were walking in on top of my comic book thing i wrote valiance 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 right okay it was a weekend convention two days right and i was in high i was in university at the time keep this in mind this was university right so i set up the booth and at the end of the the weekend i had around four and a half thousand dollars cash in my pocket two days right so made four and a half grand cash right for a student in 1992 plus i had traded a whole bunch of comics that like i traded some valiance and got some ec comics some of the ec comics that we've read i got those for free basically not free but for trade for valiance but the valiance i bought for two dollars right and i bought some comics and stuff like this so four and a half grand four and a half thousand in cash plus let's say another two grand in comics right so six and a half grand in comics for two days doing something that i absolutely love doing okay with a friend and he did it as a favor i didn't even pay him i didn't know what to pay like we're we're students in university like i would have to go for a hundred dollar extra student loan emergency loan to be able to buy food to eat that, that's my university right there's multiple times i have to go get a hundred dollar special loan right and that whole thing cost me let's say four hundred dollars for the table Let's say five hundred dollars for a table, whatever. Five hundred dollars for the table, and about a hundred bucks in comic books. Hundred bucks? No, let's say two hundred bucks in comic books. Two dollars a pop, that would be a hundred comics, right? So six hundred dollars made over six grand. That's legit for a university student for a weekend. Not bad. Surely you're a crypto guy. I have a cryptocurrency playlist. I was mining Bitcoin um, back in 2010, 11. Very little. Very little. Just testing the market right sleepy waves the best investment is yourself and your health yo indeed indeed and again look at the personal finance okay i didn't grab it let me grab the personal finance playlist i'll link it up for you guys so you know where we're coming from where is it where is it where is it where is it okay and this is on sensor tube apologies for only linking up to sensor tube i haven't set up the uh, playlist on any of the other video sharing platforms yet we will at some point we will at some point here's a personal finance playlist start from the top okay the best best man so you would recommend evil to hope real estate is the best first investment to spend real money on no i would not i would definitely not recommend real estate not right now no way in hell sweet no tax evil to hope that right. clandestine if it's not too too private to ask 
What do you study at university? I, I did, uh, I got my degree in geophysics and a minor in mathematics. Okay. Uh, Elder God, are pharmaceutical companies a good investment at the moment? I'm not, disclaimer, family has puts on one of the big biotech companies, right? Um, I would say not uh, because the price is already the price of the stocks is our has already accounted for that uh for what they are hoping to roll out if if the world goes to shit and we see uh i don't want to really dig down too, uh, too deep into this because we won't be able to load it on sensor two but if we see all of a sudden uh certain uh, things emerging because of certain decisions centralized power has has made that we need pharmaceutical companies to keep humanity going then yeah sure but man uh, that's a different world that's a different life elder god i know where you're trying to take me <laughs> sleep away people to real estate is not an investment uh, to be honest uh wow, man, how are you doing long time long time did i arrive at the end you arrived at the beginning we're about half uh, a quarter of the way through and everything is a bubble right now hard hard pass uh, to a certain degree yeah but the bubble can continue uh elder god i have been looking at a company at the moment but i won't say on here okay let us know and uh, you know people might do analysis on it to see if they think it's a good idea right elder god on our discord page cyanide for dinner what's up what's up Wobbin, real estate is more of a value store than investment. It's also um, a liability as well, right? Uh, Wobbin, because just straight up keeping liquid is losing money. Yeah, you're putting money into it. Like people have seen huge real estate gains, right? It might continue because devaluation. Um, and because you can uh, leverage a lot when you get a mortgage from a bank, right you know put fifty fifty thousand dollar down and control a million right five percent down right control a million now a million when it does minor movements it's a lot compared to your fifty thousand dollars in terms of percentage right so a million goes to million million point one wow that's a hundred thousand dollars above your 50 grand that you put in now if you're going to liquidate oh i want to cash out i want to cash out now there's going to be fees there's going to be taxes there's going to be this so maybe you make fifty fifty thousand you got to pay the mortgage off early you're going to pay f fines on that probably that'll eat a hundred thousand is not going to be enough to cover that right unless you're able to transfer the mortgage to the other person and all that crap right the the, the paperwork right so you can control a lot but on the way down it can also hurt you a lot right so the minor movements in leveraged assets can either benefit a lot or hurt a lot if we're in a bubble state then maybe you don't want to leverage out too much don't be on margin gang one advice i can give you right now do not be on margin in whatever you're doing evil to i was uh, referring to you reference for flipping and i assume you were referring to property like a beat up house to fix and resell yeah you can do that as well indeed for sure you can flip any asset you can flip any people are flipping cryptocurrencies up the yin yang people have been flipping bitcoin and a lot of other cryptos people have been flipping real estate for a couple of decades now pretty hard pretty hard longer really right but it's gone insane level in the last 10 years right less than that possibly okay no less than 10 years let's say right and uh, you can definitely flip stocks people the wall street is basically the premise is to flip stocks that's that's the core premise of investing in wall street that's what's going on right now right see where chicho can you show us how you place put not right now i haven't set up the pages yet okay um we'll get into puts and calls in the future we need to cover some some of the basics first before we can get into puts and calls cyanide for dinner dinner uh i'm not qualified to say this but stock market seems a superficial game nowadays indeed the companies don't even pay dividends now oh no they do they do 
family has uh, uh, I know people who who have funds and companies that pay seven percent seven seven plus percent yield that's what it's giving right there are companies out there like solid huge companies four percent five percent yield right and that 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 doesn't even cover inflation right now uh, you know but it does relative to what the prime rate is at five percent is huge right if you could get it at prime but you can't get it at prime not me and you and it's not covering inflation anymore in canada inflation is 5.5 percent right in the united states i think it hit five this is a 24-hour stream haha <laughs> evil to hope i'm a secret anarchist sorry chicho elder god <laughs> i'm with you on that i have more toilet paper how are you doing morning we are going through significant boom here in western australia a massive shortage of labor i'm currently in the last stages of joining the police but i feel like i'm missing on a fi financial golden carrot is there any tips uh albeit vague i know uh look here's one thing i can let you guys know as well right if you're only relying on your income i don't care what that income is to see you and your family into the future you're out of your mind you don't understand our current economic systems no matter where you are because this is the name of the game right unless you're into the uh, making five hundred thousand dollars a year or two hundred thousand more than two hundred you need to make you need to be making more than two hundred thousand dollars a year right now counting in the united states to have a, a hope in hell of, of building a large enough nest egg right to take care of family may it be just you and your partner or yourself or you and children and elders or whatever right the way that you accumulate wealth right uh, to become financially in independent you have to invest in things now it's up to you what you consider wealth to be right if you're you consider wealth to be your family your community uh food security and all this then you can go buy property in certain places and build a collective where you can have that right that's a great way to be if you consider wealth to be education health um community family building something sustainable that is anti-fragile highly recommend it that'll last longer than any of the markets that you see right now taking place if your idea so you don't just make capital and money salary and sit sit back and say well someone will build it for me or i'll move somewhere that has that uh when the time is ready you know when i'm ready when i retire i'll move somewhere like that you, you're out of your mind right if you think building wealth is accumulating assets and you think you can do that just by your salary you're out of your mind right and so on and so forth okay it's like deciding that wealth for you is intelligence and you're gonna wait until you retire so you can read all these books that you plan on reading and going to university and getting your phd you think your mind is going to be functional on that level that you can actually do that and you will have enough time to do that and you will be in good health to do that why wouldn't you constantly be doing that working towards that if that to you is wealth i can't tell you how many people have met elderly and their senior citizens right when they've turned to me because one of the other things that i recommend is having friends that span every decade right have friends that are much younger than you and have friends that are much older than you participate in com conversations that uh the people you're talking to are much younger than you multiple generations and much older than you that way you get a nice spectrum of where you might have come from and where you're headed right it gives you a nice nice view nice view once you do that your money right but i can't tell you how many people have i've talked to in senior citizens that they sit there they might some of them extremely multi-millionaires right extremely wealthy some of them not right but one commonality that i've seen with a lot of them is 
they turn to me and say, I, I wanted to do this. I wish I did this. I'm going to do this. But they never get it done. All right. They didn't they didn't do what they wanted to do throughout their existence and they thought they could do it when they retired because they built up a lot of capital stupid okay don't go down that route if there's something that you want to do in your retirement start doing it now so you build enough knowledge experience and if you get to be that old you can do it really well and if you don't get to be that old you get knocked out of the game early on then at least you've done you've experienced some of your life some of the pleasures in your life that you wanted to have during the time when you were alive okay let's let's clear that crap out let's clear that out okay guys uh that's really important because people are getting confused here a little bit some people do that's what i'm seeing with with this not you guys in general but when i talk with people oh, i'm i'm working you know this many hours a day and uh, this 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 i'm like oh man so sad so sad okay well but i don't like to dismiss things because they're bubbles human society is made up of many different abstractions of bubbles markets economies uh politically indeed woman yeah and some of those bubbles even though when they come down when it pops it doesn't make that industry you know go away right it just means a bubble there was too much inflow of money going in the prices went into bubble status and then when it pops it comes down but like the tulip bubble well that was not legit with the dot com bubble those were legit industries they control the world now right so it really depends on the industry you're looking at evil to hope i like to believe that recessions are a myth and that real estate value will increase forever haha <laughs> depends on uh by the way thank you for the follows gang apologies for not catching up sometimes i go off on rest um that really depends on what you consider uh value right uh route of fiat currency what after relative to life i don't know echo 186 hey chicho how are we doing tonight doing good i just saw your video on donald Rumsfeld and censor took fantastic stuff <laughs> that was good news <laughs> evil to hope will you teach us calls puts and other stuff at some point yeah yeah people are flipping electronics hardware they call it uh, scalping yeah it's like scalping movie ticket uh concert tickets right it's a zero sum uh a redistribution of wealth or like uh renting real estate the person renting is spending money that way instead of saving to acquire their own property uh no i disagree Walman. maybe they're taking that money that they would have been paying mortgage for accumulating a certain amount of certain amount of debt liabilities but instead taking that money and putting it somewhere where the returns are a lot higher right a lot of people say oh i should have bought real estate 10 years ago hell no what are you nuts you could have bought real estate 10 years ago sure your money would have gone up in west coast of canada which is a lot it's gone up a lot your money would have gone up three times let's say right if you bought a house for a million dollar a million dollar house 10 years ago you could probably flip it for anywhere between four or five in average four five six maybe right max okay so four to five times if you bought ten thousand dollars worth of bitcoin the same time right a million dollar house 10 years ago in canada would cost you a hundred thousand dollars down payment was probably 10 percent at that time right well take 10 percent of that 10 percent 10 percent you would have put down for a house take ten thousand dollars if you're taking ten thousand dollars down and put into bitcoin let's say one thousand dollars down put into bitcoin you wouldn't have six million dollars you would have had probably six hundred million dollars right if you had taken that hundred thousand dollars and bought certain comic books key issues you wouldn't have had six million dollars right you would have had what would you have had i don't know someone <laughs> gonna dip up a lot right uh 30 times your money right now keep in mind in that 10 year time you would have had to pay rent right but rent mortgage you're building assets so for 10 years you would be paying mortgage how much asset would you have built up in a one million dollar house two hundred thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars in assets right so 
it, it goes and you, you would have that would have gone against the minus you know your ten thousand dollars right so you put ten thousand dollars down uh bought something but you would have to pay you know let's say how much are we going to pay rent i don't know two grand three grand three grand three times three times twelve let's say five times twelve the hell with it let's pay let's say you're living large five times twelve that's sixty thousand dollars a year times ten that's six hundred thousand dollars you would have paid in rent zero asset value zero asset value if you didn't take that extra money and play it somewhere right it really depends man it really depends I think there are still uh, still new rich people. Pop up. Tons, tons. Jamie, lasagna. How are you doing? One thousand points. Jamie, remember you can keep your points. We're gonna do uh, end of the year uh, November. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, auction where you can redeem your points and bit stuff. But thank you for redeeming the points. Evil to hope. I'm starting to think about potentially buying vending machines as a first small side business. Then when I make enough, looking to buy a laundromat. Cool. Don't blame a cop. Sleepy wave says. Mm, Jamie. Jamie Lasagna. Hey Chicho, long time no see. Glad to catch you live. Last time I was here, my name was Great Lasagna. That's what it is. Great Lasagna. <laughs> He went to Jamie. <laughs> Jamie lasagna. Fun. How come you changed that up? No more great lasagna. Wow, but I measure wealth in cups of coffee. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's do oh wow gang. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through the chat. I'm just gonna read. Can we start the screen share? Let's do the screen screen share. I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, only reading things that are directed towards me. I have more toilet paper. Chicho, thanks, man. Your guidance of decentralization of income has been my main focus the past year. This has now spread to outer family, which is wonderful to see. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's beautiful to see, man. You guys become a family community, becomes so much more anti fragile when you decentralize. Decentralize. It buys everybody freedom. Sleep away, Chicho. You can't compare buying a house versus buying Bitcoin 10 years ago. No. Nobody could have predicted it was going to blow up in this manner. Uh, I disagree with that second sentence. Uh, yeah, a lot of people predicted it that it was going to blow up, right? I told how many years ago 2013 I, I wrote an article telling people you know I wrote an article telling people to sell when it was a 1200 it was a bubble it came out to 200 and when it was 200 or so to 250 when it was stabilizing that flat period it was a pretty sweet period right I told a lot of friends and family it was a good time to buy Bitcoin I even put out an article saying it's a good time to buy Bitcoin and sit on it right I didn't say start flipping it I said sit on it went up to 1900 I said I'd be selling uh, 19,000 I said I'd be selling 20,000 I said I'd be selling came down to and I my price price target when it was around 20,000 was 3600 2600 six thirty six. I can't remember now and then someone came on the chat and said hey Chicho it was 2600 and it's like 31 do you think it's a good time to buy I say it's pretty damn close right you know you're only playing with this much so I disagree that people could not have predicted it there's many people that predicted it seven hour three week one night hey chicho been watching you for years cool to catch you live live love listening to you awesome glad to have you here da, 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 da. screen share should we get into screen shares i'm scrolling I'm all the way down to the bottom i'm all the way down to the bottom what should i do to get into the stock market let's do this pk master let's look at the i'm gonna screen share again okay brother or asian girl i dated bought four coins in 2009 just for fun He's doing great indeed gang I'm gonna kill this camera right here we're gonna go screen share and I'm gonna let me give you the intro to this right now if you want to look at the stock market right and we're gonna look at Wall Street I don't recommend just going into Wall Street if you're gonna even gonna want to go into Wall Street there are better places to invest and you can take a look at our personal finance investing playlist here's the link for it Doop watch from the top video down and it'll give you an idea of what my perspective is on in regards to investing in personal finance and stuff like this but you can't deny that wall street is there and it gives us the opportunity to look at certain metrics right 
why the reason it does that is because there's a lot of data there right and it's market sentiment okay so what we're going to do right now is take a look at two main indicators which are the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average and we'll look at the bullying bullying bands right the one standard deviation away from their things if we have time by the way but a lot of people don't put enough value into the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average and we're going to look at some of the just a snapshot of a company if we want to look at a snapshot of a company right a bullinger bullinger bands yeah okay and that's one standard deviation i believe it's one standard deviation away from um uh, from the average price from the uh, uh, price of the stock right and then we might look at the um, MACD as well I call it McLeod I don't know why I call it that M M A C D. I don't think we're going to take a look at that uh, in this stream Wabi and Chicho do you go through a company's balance sheet or financial statements when thinking of putting money into a stock uh, not usually only only if it's and by the way i'm not into the market this is not fine i'm just not i have family in the market that i talk to them right you should be listening if you're investing in a company you should be listening to their uh, conference okay their quarterly and yearly conference calls that they do you should be looking at their financials statements okay it reveals a lot lot as well as their projections as well as their history of meeting projections right if the management constantly comes out and says oh we're going to do this and they constantly underperform then they've built history if on the flip side the company comes out and says they're going to do this and they always outperform then they've built a history you have to take that into consideration so one thing that uh, i do do when I look at companies, I follow companies for an extended period of time because you want to know what the news feed is regarding a company, how the management is behaving and how the market is reacting to their news releases and to their stock. Right. See, so, Chicho, let's look at the uh, TLY. <laughs> what about newly public companies like IPOs? IPOs, um, I don't part. It's rare. I have participated in IPOs before a long time ago, but it's rare. And um there has been times where it could be times family does not financial size da, 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 that is involved in pre-ipo as well okay it's a huge gamble right yes yes bigger gamble than just straight up buying stocks for sure ipos i'm going to take this down let's take a look at some of the stuff boink okay I'm gonna close this. I got the chat. Oh, I gotta turn off the chat on here. We're gonna turn that off. So I turned off the chat that's gonna appear on the screen because we got this guy going on here. Okay. And one bit of a financial advice I have for you, uh, or just internet advice, use DuckDuckDo as your search engine. However, that being said, we will be looking at Google Finance to get a general feel for a company, right? general feel for a company this is the first time i see a chicho screen haha <laughs> check it out check it out okay now google finance you can click on it you can create playlists you can do whatever you want right here are some companies that i've been keeping track of right we'll take a look at one of these anyway this is a company if you don't know this do you use vpn uh the, yes vpn you should be using vpn do i use vpn all the time uh, no i flip between okay not always investo oop, let me link uh, link this up to you guys investopedia great site okay bookmark this site i don't i'm not being paid by them i don't have financial interest in this company or anything like this i just use this site because you can look things up right here you can go here do a little here's a search right oh no log in anonymously <laughs> i'm not we're not i'm not logging into anything right oh maybe i am <laughs> but that's okay it's just going to look at the thing 
Chicho, there are also open source trackers. If not com comfortable, Google chunking up your investment data. Uh, for sure, for sure. But I do like... Uh, because they can't link that up with anything else. Uh, trust me, I have multiple things going on, so it's it's okay, okay? Uh, it's not a big deal, okay, as far as I'm concerned, because, uh, because of some of the things that I've mentioned in our personal finance playlist, okay? Now, take a look at this thing, market watch, okay? We're going to look at the chart, and we're going to look at... Uh, just the Dow for now because the people talk a lot about the Dow. By the way, all God, thank you for the concern. Thank you for the concern. Okay. Uh, it's not a big deal because these are uh, some of these things are some of the ones I've mentioned in our Discord as well. Chicho, I just wanted to say I love your cigar content. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, see why come C Y K A monster. CYK a monster 99. <laughs> Check this out. Let's look at the Dow for now. Okay, you can go into Market Watch and put in any stock you want. I'm all about privacy. Elder God, I agree. I agree. Privacy should be the, one of your main concerns if uh, if you're doing certain types of banking and stuff online or anything else, really. Hi Chicho, Market Watch. It's nice for pre and after market indeed. Mac dot 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 mark and by the way gang market watch has been around a long time they got a good reputation as far as i'm concerned okay they got a good reputation as far as i'm concerned in flows <laughs> thanks <laughs> now take a look at this thing we can, let's take a look at the dow for now and here's another another site stock charts now we're not going to use this because i just you know i did another search there are multiple other ones okay if there are any websites that you like post it link it up on our discord page right in personal finance this court okay and let people know and we'll set up a database uh, where people are sharing websites that they use for information okay now this one you can do a lot of the stuff too i played around with this a little bit not too much i didn't like it because it wasn't going more than 10 years and stuff like this just keep that in mind stock charts uh, i don't know this company okay and there are others elder god actually i have a number account for online banking difficult to get but worth it all i wish i had a numbered account elder god check this out let's do the dow jones for now okay now dow is the top 30 stocks in the, the us and stuff it's it is what it is right so if you click the dow or look into any company right you can do a search here and type in a company name right but let's look at the dow for now right so when you go here you can go to this uh not uh not to forget finvex 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 is that a website a trading site thank you for sharing it make dot 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 uh i wish i hear we'll do finvex fin viz fin not vex fin viz what is this stock screener here i'm gonna pin this okay let's go back here now take a look at this thing when you go down here you can go to this here advanced charting okay have you checked out wall street bets or invest uh, investing subreddits i've heard a lot about that i used to be uh i have right um not too deep but i used to go and forums are a great place if you're looking into playing the markets i don't care what markets they are right if you're into comic books go into comic book forums if you're into trading wall street uh stocks look find forums that you like and talk to people seriously you're out of your mind if you're not talking to others online when it comes to investing right uh to to a large degree if you're let me let me put it this way if you're not if if you're into trading flipping okay now take a look at this thing you can go here and go to advanced charting click advanced charting okay what that does it takes you to another page right opens up and you got your different days here uh different periods that you can look at things right you can 
frequency you can do it daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly uh, you can do line or candlestick dar dots or whatever i usually stick with line uh initial look initial look wabon i'm t uh, talking to my cat about investing in a good nap <laughs> he's bullish on naps nice most cats are right and then what you see here is here i've saved this i'm going to take these guys down this is i was playing around with this right so here let me take this down 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 and we're going to add these things uh, as we build it right so if you go to the dow jones industrial average right this is the chart for the dow for the last five years this is the time frame you pick i've picked here right you can look at it for one day come here look at it for one day this is what you see let me see if i can make this a little tighter there we go is that better let me see if that's uh, better for you guys yeah that's better that shows the whole shebang okay let me take this down I've never uh, learned how to read and appreciate candlesti uh, candlesticks. Now, candlesticks just basically top and the bottom, right? And it give, breaks it down. Good candlesticks will break down the standard deviations as well, right? Or different things in there. Uh, we'll take a look at that stuff. I haven't looked at that candlestick for a while. So I have to refresh myself on that, okay? But line graph is a good way to look at this. So this is a one-day trading for the Dow. Here's the five-day, right? Here's the 10 day. Here's the one month. Here's the three months. Here's the six month. Okay. Here's a year to date, YTD. Here's the one year, Dow, right? And here's the percent it tells you, right? It's gone up. It should be 53. I don't know why it says it this way. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's for today. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't show you this. Here. Here's one reason I do Google. Take a look at this. Let's go to Dow Jones. Here's the Dow, right? If you click on one year on Google Finance, and I'm, I know other, other websites do this, right? It tells you how much the Dow has increased in one year, 30% in the last year, right? You can go one day, went up 0.15 percent which is that's what's showing here but this is only showing the one day if you go here five days it's gone up 0.62 percent one month has gone up 2.8 percent six month has gone up 13.11 percent year to date up 15 percent 16 percent in one year 30 percent that's a huge gain in one year gang in five years the dow is up 88 percent that is a huge gain gang huge gain okay keep that in mind and maximum the dow jones is up three thousand five hundred percent since 1981 that's how far back it goes okay 1981 you can take it further but the dow came to the s p you can take further okay s p i think they they changed the names this basket the dow came i'm assuming it came to be in 1981 okay so that's one of the benefits of the Google Finance that they have there, right? Now we can go back here. Here's the two year. And this was the lockdowns kicking in, right? Keep that in mind. That's a that's a marker there. You can reference things based on that. Three year, five year, ten year, and you can do the whole thing. All right. So this chart, and this goes back to the Dow takes it back down to 1970, right? So Market Watch provides you more data, okay? And you can do your own percent gain by the Dow was trading at 838 in uh, 1970, and right now sitting at 34,000, 35,000, right? And you can just subtract and figure out what the percent gain is there, right? Now. Google Finance used to have the ability to do metrics on it. It does not anymore. Do not put your weight investments, your your trust in Google. Okay, they really I can't or don't learn their tools. Learn the tools you need to learn to be able to do what you need to do off of 
Google platforms personally and as a business personal finance advice right here okay chalk walk chalk a cat walk a <laughs> cat call uh, seeking alpha is good for uh, that time frame percent change um, effect too uh, but that site has the most brain dead lunatic commentary on his site is it i don't know that site okay now let's go back here now in here you can do and you can do this on other sites as well right this one lays out the the metrics here chart overlays chart overlays means it's going to put it on the data itself okay this data itself lower charts here so chart overlays this one this puts it on the chart right the, where the data is chart lower charts is what's going to be put down here okay it's extra charts that you could take a look at and you can mark the events such as dividends earnings splits and whatnot and news uh news density whatever i don't i haven't done that right uh founded november 1882 uh, the dow jones 1882 cool 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 so re return on that from 1882 would be a gazillion percent right now take a look at this thing if we do the chart overlay we can do moving average or uh, sorry exponential moving average or simple moving average let's do those two now the difference between simple moving average and exponential moving average is simple moving average is just the average price over a certain uh, number of days right and it's not weighted the exponential moving average is a weighted moving average where it gives more weight to more recent um, stock prices okay now i'm going to show both and you can see the variation between these and it's up to you which one you want to use for doing data analysis some people like exponential moving average they say that is better indicator for what the stock is doing because it's putting more weight on what the stock price has been more recently some people say no they want simple moving average because they're looking for an extended period of time right especially if right if the beta is not huge and the beta is half fluctuation of the stock if it's moving up you know rapidly or it's fairly tight range right doesn't do huge moves okay so let's put the exponential moving average on here now this is all the data right so it's everything so we're not going to stick on this the whole data set for too long because it takes too long for it to process right so this is what the simple moving um this is what the exponential moving average looks like and right now this is you can click on here and you can see it popping up here so let me take it off see this there's nothing here right and i can go exponential moving average boop and it shows you where it's popped up right and you can click on edit and right now it's graphing the 20 day moving average so the black line that you see is the 20 day trading average right now take a look at here if you could look at it zoom in and we will zoom into it you can see that the market bottom occurred basically almost at the 20 day or you can add another metric or change this i like the 50 day personally you can add the 50 day and the 50 day is here right so for the huge bounce it actually did come down to the 50 days just not showing you right because when it f dropped when the lockdowns kicked in right the the dow dropped to around 18,000 18,500 or so and the 50 day shows us so we're going to look at the 50 day right uh lark park hello chicho good evening friend how are you doing doing well lark park thank you very much now this is the exponential moving average remember it's weighing it more towards um recent price of the stock right or the market okay and by the way you could close this by just saying close Doink. see that edit open it up change your day and then close okay tasker harris hey chicho unrelated but just wanted to give you thanks about using coconut oil i tried it and it's been doing wonders already awesome yeah once i started using coconut oil for shaving 
never went back to anything else it's absolutely amazing i'm glad and it's cheap 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 personal finance advice so cheap using coconut oil to shave with just a little bit okay and it's good for the skin sleepy ways i'm confused why are you calling it calling it 50 day if we're looking at timeline for years ah take a look at this thing this is the the timeline from 1970 to, to 2020 to now to today okay to today so much cheaper but the 50-day moving average does this sleepy waves it takes the last 50 days right and averages that price and plots the data point right plus the data point and then it goes back one day and takes the previous 50 days so you're moving back slowly one day at a time right and averages that data and plots it averages that data and plots it so the black line you see there i'm talking about these data points okay i'm talking about these data points right the fluctuation that you see there the blue line is right now we're on uh, what are we on we're on quarterly because we're looking from 1970 to uh to today it's looking at it quarterly every three months right that was the average trading okay lark park speaking of the pandemic california is back uh to indoor mask mandatory any who that's another story for another another story for another time starting saturday crazy 11 59 p.m uh got it it's the average of every 50 days yeah this one is not 50 days it's uh the quarterly one right but let's here i, I just want to show you this we'll dig down into it when we get into a shorter time frame okay thank you for your service thank you for your service <laughs> all the god says cat call check this out check this out uh but up uh, military i guess that's why ha <laughs> ha i use water only uh, cat call says now this was the exponential moving average the 50 day let's do the simple moving average okay should plot it and we're gonna do i believe this is what's it doing right now this is the 50 day i'm gonna take the 200 day out remove the 200 day because i don't want the 200 day in there right so take a look at this thing the exponential is the black line and the green line is the simple 50-day moving average if we look at today right or in the last 50 whatever the quarter or quarterly timeline is here right the simple moving average the green line is sitting at 19,000. you won't be able to see it because it's too small and the black line is sitting at 21,000 so 2000 difference between them okay so there is a minor difference between the simple moving simple moving average and the exponential moving average right and we're going to zoom into a shorter time frame now you're going to see how that changes right that's why i say some people like the simple moving average more some people like the exponential moving average more up to you which one you want to use okay let's zoom in zoom down and see which one in the time frame shrink down the time frame so this is all the data let's look at the 10 year we're going to keep it there right that's the 10 year data here's the five year data and they're getting closer now right now take a look at this thing 10 year 10 year this guy was automatically setting it at quarterly right when you go to five year now it's monthly every month right you're getting your data points and it's getting tighter right they're following each other more closely you go to the three year not bad okay two year one year okay and they follow each other very closely six months three months three months start to you see a bigger difference here right because there's a way bigger movement okay so the let's see 
here's here's one indicator the black line check out the black line when you see the data moving according on a line right on bouncing off a line or skimming a line either on the top or on the bottom then that line is probably more accurate for that period than the pre than the other line right so take a look at this thing from this time frame from june 2022 uh, 2021 well uh, june wait a second now what are we in oh we're in three months that's right for uh june 21st to june 23rd the exponential moving average was pretty good because the line was skimming it and then for this period it was a simple moving average from june 28 and 29 it was following it better right so you might want to look at both of them because they're both support lines and resistance lines and that's what these things are and I'll explain to you what those mean okay and then you can go to one month and then you can go to 10 days and 10 days it just becomes you know people do this on a day if you're day trading you're looking at the stuff right and then you can do one day which is a minute based on a minute right every minute taking it 50 data points plotting it right and you can see bounces happening here right so you can follow this work follow this trend right take a look at that stuff do you see a trend happening for sure because the averages are a reflection of the data right it's just taking out the noise right that's the way you should think about it these averages are just removing the noise so you can see the trends better okay so let's kick this up to the yearly okay and up to you guys which one do you want to use do you want to you do you guys want to use the exponential moving average or simple moving average you guys let me know while i pop another plum delicious so juicy actually i'm gonna pop two plums it's really good these plums i wouldn't pick them today from uh, just up the street local local trees amazing sleepy bay six exponential let's keep the exponential going okay i'm gonna kill the simple so i'm gonna x this out boom and the symbol disappears data set looks cleaner all right and you want to work with a clean data set until you get used to all the metrics now the other thing you can do in the exponential moving average as i said you can change the dates days on it right you can make this 50 day 20 day and then what you can do is add another line right automatically it turns it into 20 day right you saw the green line pop up so now the green line is the 20 day moving average but I don't want to look at the 20 day. I want to look at the 200 day, right? And I changed the 20 to 200, and now you see another line here, right? The green line in the bottom, and the 200 day moving average is lagging to a certain degree, right? And it's also giving you a serious support level, right? Where the support is, right? So it's giving you how far something is above its 200-day moving average because the way you can think about it is this. When a stock price deviates too far from the 200-day moving average, the 200-day moving average acts like a magnet and pulls the stock either down or up. The 50-day moving average does the same thing, but it's faster fluctuations, and the movements could the 50 day could move faster okay all i can hear is next slide please next slide please <laughs> right so check this out and you can add more you can add other metrics here let's put in the 20 day again you can go oops i dropped my mouse apologies about that gang drop the mouse okay now the other you can thing you can do you can add more days but we're not going to remove right cheryl sorry about that gang oh my god <laughs> the ears the ears is rare i don't think i've ever dropped a mouse on this table right 
Oh no, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, has, have your ears recouped? Should I eat another prom? That drop was not ASMR. No, I'm awake now. Oh my god, it was that loud, eh? Oops. Now I'll let you guys recoup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a couple of hazelnuts. I know I was just starting to relax. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen again. Sleepy wave. So the 200 day line is basically showing the lowest averages the stock has reached. Right? No, not the lowest averages sleep waves is taking the last 200 days right or 200 periods i guess you can think about it and averaging them so if a stock is doing this right it's gone up like this then the average of that period would be right in the middle right if the stock is doing fluctuations then it's taking the average of those 200 days and putting a point on there and then what it does is it's a window it zooms back and does the same thing and you can see that 99 data points are going to be the same as uh, 199 data points are going to be the same as the next data point next average you're going to take is just adding one more point okay that's what's going on every time i hear recoup I think a uh, cleft nine. Me. <laughs> Greetings, Doctor P. How are you doing? Cat walk, oh, cat call. You say like a magnet, but the thing to remember is the market is irrational and only lives by people's and wealthy firms' opinions, speculations, gamble, and dependent on many on those. Indeed, and also, by the way, cat walk. Don't forget automation most of the trades that you see happening on wall street right now is an algorithm doing the trading okay it's an algorithm doing the trading so that's one of the reasons when the price of a stock deviates really far from their averages <clears throat> from their averages <clears throat> don't eat hazelnuts and talk <clears throat> yeah definitely automation when it deviates a lot from the averages the automation kicks in and really the automation is telling it hey this is deviated too far from the averages and it's going to start pulling it back down or pulling it back up again right now keep in mind the boolean bands are in play there's a lot of if any algorithm any ai should be taken into consideration the short play you know how much how, um what the volume is how many stocks are available and stuff like this right dr p i say we all go blockchain we all go blockchain anyways <laughs> how are we supposed to play with algorithms uh that's the kicker sleepy waves right hazelnuts are great but water indeed elegant but water or juicy plums um it, it, sleepy waves that's the thing you have to appreciate that you can't compete with the algorithm if you're a human being you need to algorithms trade faster and what you need to do is appreciate how the algorithms have been behaving and really appreciate the factor that algorithms function when there's function well when there's liquidity in the markets once liquidity drops either on the upside or the downside the algorithms have major hiccups and you see movements insane movements and if you're aware of those movements you can take advantage of those movements okay elder god the machine the machine has too much control what happened to the to the main in the uh, uh man in the office man in the office is is no longer there and there's there is the man in the office is basically the top management treating everybody else as a uh, machine may they be human or not right uh unfortunately unfortunately right so keep these two lines in mind 
right the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average now why are these lines important because they follow sentiment in large part sentiment has a huge part to play in trading okay for example let's talk about the 50-day moving average this is one year let's zoom in a little closer let's go six months no 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 let's stick with one year i like the there's more fluctuation here right now in general the idea of sentiment is this the idea of the averages is this when a stock is trading above its 50-day moving average or 200-day moving average or whatever day moving average you want to look at 50 and 200 are the top two okay catwalk the main the man in the office is a salary with benefits that can't work that can't work 24 7 days per week to the big companies yeah that's why the man in the office is slowly being replaced right so here's the idea of the the averages right may it be the 50-day moving average 200-day moving average or whatever moving average you want to talk think about right when a stock is trading above the average people who have money in that stock tend to be happy right they don't worry about that company that stock that investment right when the stock moves close to the 50-day moving average and the 50-day moving average represents the average price that somebody has bought that stock for the 50 days right that's what it represents that's exactly what it represents for the 200-day moving average it's the average price firms companies individuals have paid for that stock right so if you're making money if you're in the plus of this stock that you've invested in right then you're not too concerned about it once the price starts coming down and touches the average price which is the average price which could you could think about as the price that you paid right then you're going to go hmm i hope it goes up i hope it doesn't go down right and if people have been following this stock for a while and it's been trading above the 50-day moving average and it comes down to the 50-day moving average they're going to go oh sweet i can pay the price of a 50-day moving average to buy this that means um i averaged down to a certain degree right and that acts as a support level and it bounces the stock up or it could bounce the stock up sometimes when you see corrections the price cuts through the 50-day moving average real fast and what happens once you're below the 50-day moving average there's pressure on that stock or the 200-day moving average for people to sell before their losses become too much right so people start selling so there's a little bit of pressure on it or people that wanted to buy in they start buying in right and then what you see sometimes is the price jumps up above the 50 day and does bounces around the 50 day because the market is now indecisive people aren't sure if they want to hold on for more gains or sell before they have more losses so the stock price starts doing this bouncing around the 50 day moving average or 200 day moving average or 20 day moving average right it's the same sentiment when the stock price is below those averages when the stock price is below those averages there's a weight on this right when the stock price starts moving up and touches an average then there's a lot of people saying oh thank god i recoup my money sell 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 right sell 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 right so the 50-day moving average acts as a bigger resistance in my opinion than a support right because people start selling they go oh sell 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 because i don't want to deal with losses right until it goes above and then people are willing to buy again and those jumps above these sort of support and resistance levels are called um, uh, breakouts right on the way up it's a breakout right so if there's a certain line average that people are following that they've given weight to when it goes above that people say oh the stock is doing a breakout and if it closes above this level then the stock might do a run up okay that's the way people think about these things okay that's where the market sentiment comes into play 
not economically viable i look out for the man catwalk no it won't work or end well if people don't have money to spend when more things become automated that's where they're the the powers that be capital's power is hoping ubi will kick in which is basically slavery it's going to keep it's going to uh put a lot of people in uh, in poverty uh you need people to have disposable income it can't it cannot be held but uh such few no machines don't buy shoes simple they buy parts though right they buy parts they need maintenance uh, they use energy right so certain markets do profit certain markets will not right it so it's it's not just you're replacing something where it's not going to consume anymore you're replacing something that was consuming certain types of products with something that's going to consume other types of products right so keep that in mind gang a lot of people say automation is is going to kill the economy which economy which market right a lot of people are going to get uh, burnt Alaga. stupid waves so when i i am trying to look into buying a stock at what what average is it good to buy in when it's under under the 50 average line assuming it would go back up well if you're if you're going to be buying if if a stock goes below the 50 day moving average goes below it with volume right and bounces 50 day moving average can't break through it if it starts skimming it it could go either way up or down right but if you think it's going to go down again starts going down then the 200 day moving average in general is a good support level the 200 day moving average is one of the most solid support levels there is it can cut through it but it does tend to bounce take a look at this thing like here's the one year chart right here's the 200 day moving average in on what is this uh, september 23rd it did a bounce off the 200 day moving average went up over here it broke in november uh end of october beginning of november it was below the 200 day moving average down here and then it kicked back up and cut through the 50 day moving average like butter right and over here in this area you see the um, 50 day moving average acting as a bounce line and over here too 50 day moving average acting as a bounce line right so it really depends if you're planning on buying into a certain stock you should follow that stock for a certain period of time or at least look at the chart right look at the chart to see how it's behaving is it constantly breaking through the 50-day moving average if it's constantly breaking through the 50-day moving average then maybe the 50-day moving average is not acting as a good support or a solid resistance maybe you need to look at the 200 day moving average if the 200 day moving average is holding out well for an extended period of time then maybe if it hits the 200 day moving average that would be a good time to buy into a stock right oh my god machine economics indeed evil to hope there's no fear about automation the automated uh, devices need people to build sell and maintain plus a backup in place when they uh, outright fail of work with automated devices for two decades yeah yeah uh, that being said there are machines that build machines so some of that stuff is gonna become even more automated and in general you don't need as many people to maintain a machine than people that can mimic a machine all right uh, but there are jobs that are created in other industries uh, services indeed uh, both for the machinery and uh, other things right sleepy waves could we look at another stock using these two lines sure which stock do you want to look at before we do let, let me show you one more metric let me show you one more metric. how's our time we've got about half an hour left let me show you one more metric 
and this is the Bull Bullinger bo um, bands. Okay, this is important. Bullinger bands are basically the one standard deviation away. Let's look at Tesla. You want to look at Tesla? Sure. That's one standard deviation away from, I believe it's one standard deviation away. I should look this up a little bit more. One standard deviation away uh, from the stock price, right? And the Bollinger Bands act as resistance, right? Because anything that goes away one standard deviation from its price point, again, that price point acts like a magnet and pulls it towards it, right? Two standard deviations, a lot more. Because one standard deviation, 66, no, 65 points, whatever amount of data is in one standard deviation away from a point, right? And two standard deviations contains 95% of the data, right? So the stock is going to tr be trading within that range, two standard deviations, 95% of the time. And 65% of the time, it's going to be trading within one standard deviation away. All right. Okay. Nah, I don't. I want to look at Tilray. You want to look at Tilray? Which, okay, we need a second. Which, who wants to look at Tesla? Who wants to look at Tilray? Okay. So keep the uh, Bullinger, band, Bullinger bands in mind as well. Okay. Who wants to look at? I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. 500 bucks in my wallet good pair of shoes and a cot to sleep in haha <laughs> oh <my> god <laughs> don't become a lighthouse keeper don't become a lighthouse keeper which one do I, we can take a look at both of them here let's look take a look at both of them let's look at uh tesla first so we can um we can save this store the setting so i'm going to store the setting check this out in here it's got a store setting i just played around with this today right so we're storing the setting. It's got that thing set up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at Tesla. Tesla symbol is TSLA. Okay. Tesla. And let's look at the advanced chart. So it pops up. This is where it's trading at. And here's Tesla, right? Now, what's happening with Tesla right now is pretty cool, right? Looks like it's bouncing. I'm sorry if this isn't big enough. I haven't figured out how to make this bigger unless other than moving into this lower time frame. We will, right? Let's take a look at this thing. Tesla right now is bouncing on the 50-day moving average. It's, it's, it did a skim off the 50-day. Now it's touching the 50-day from the one-year look on it, right? It's still above the 200-day, and the Bollinger Bands are, are, let me show it to you this way, are coming in together and that is going to indicate major movement either on the up or down okay this is not financial advice my guess is going to be on the up okay now since we got tesla up let's zoom in closer so we're going to cut this in half now and look at the six month can you take the bands out take the bands out sure let's take the bands out and here's the bands right uh multiplier 2 and 20 day we should have done the 50 day Doink. 50 day 50 day is better should we keep the 50 day do you want to keep the 50 day or no 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 worries about the caps uh, sleepy waves do you think ellen intentionally does press on a timeline to cause this bounce oh yeah oh yeah ellen is uh, plays the market like like mad he's one of the best market players there is right so should we take out the uh, bullinger bands we can take him out 50 day looks better i like the 50 day tell you the truth i don't do the two uh 20 day okay sleepy ways do you want it in or out i'm going to pop another plum while you make a decision another plum what the bands are think about this okay It's basically no bands play music. No bands, so bands, bands play music. Bands play music. Basically, the fifth, the a Bollinger Bands is telling you the stock is trading within that range for a certain period of time. But let's take them out. We'll talk about Bollinger Bands later. What? 
because it is cleaner right so you can take a look at this so this is a one-year chart for tesla okay you can see here where it went really above the 200 day and then boom 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 pulls it back pretty much did a bounce off the 200 day here skim the 200 day here bounce between the 250 day came into a channel and this is called coming into a channel now it's breakout a breakout from a channel so this indicates that it might be popping up a uh, stock market is gambling <laughs> evil to hope let's look at the six month right here's the six month okay here is the three month right now you guys decide if you were into buying if or if you were into playing tesla would you be going long or short on this so playing powerball is like being a stock trader uh, yeah but you're on the pink sheets right i won 1350 during euro champion ah right on great investment well it depends how much you put in elder god here's the one month here's the 10 we're not going to look at the 10 day really 10 day five day because this is getting into day trading right and one day right so it's going back up again right let's stick here's one month three months let's stick with the six month okay that's the six month for tesla oh that's the profit nice oh you won okay nice 1350 nice sleep it seems that when it goes under it keeps jumping over the 50 day line well some stocks some not so right some not so right so let's take a poll right now who thinks and this is the best way to do this by the way keep this in mind right now you can do a what do you call it just a, a play right make a note tesla is trading at 650 right on july 15th 2021 make a note for yourself if you were playing this would you go long or short long meaning do you think this is going to go up or do you think this is going to go down you decide here's the one year okay here's the two year now we should look at further watch this now the two year we're into weekly um 50 day moving average 50 week moving average and 200 week moving average do you believe allocating at least 15 percent of each paycheck should be put into stocks of some kind no i don't think they should be put into stocks only i think you should take 15 percent and invest it somewhere i I don't agree that it should go into the stock market no that's keeping uh, uh a beast alive why would you do that stupid ways i'm talking about tesla like it goes under the black line but then it comes uh back up yeah to a certain degree it's it's showing good strength right if you go to the one year again it's going below it like i said it's acting as a magnet right so it goes below the 50-day moving average take a look at this this part here right this is um march 8 2021 it went below the 50-day and bounced basically off the 200-day moving average and went up to the 50-day so the stock was here cut went below the 50 day bounced on the 50 day came back down hit the 200 day the 200 day acted as a support bounced it back above the 50 day now the 50 day was fairly high relative to the 200 day so the 200 day was acting like a magnet and pulling the 50 day down as well right because the 50 days the average of the stock price so the stock keeps on bouncing between the 250 day when it does that it's called going into a channel right trading channel to a certain degree with a bullier uh, bullinger bands coming in and then breaks happen when that happens either on the downside or upside okay elder god looks steady 
evil to hope high reward high risk high reward high risk zam z ambitious z are you a lighthouse keeper <laughs> i did watch the lighthouse a couple of days ago though what a movie what a movie now keep this in mind so this is a daily moving average when we go into the two year now we're into the 50 week moving average and 200 week moving average right and you're taking a look at this and going oh okay if you have a two-year time frame in mind we'll look at the uh, tilray um sleepy waves after this i'm just going to zoom out on the on the time frame on this okay if you're looking at this you're going holy camoles this thing is so far above the 200 uh, weekly moving average the 200 weekly moving average for for uh tesla is 200 and what is that 290 dollars right and right now it's trading at 650 dollars is it going to cut, cut through butter is it is it is this going to do is tesla going to do what it does what it what it does on a yearly basis as what it did on a uh basically monthly basis weekly basis right so this is daily in one year and here is weekly right do you see sort of a same type of effect right see the difference here between the 50 day and 200 day moving average in the stock price and then when you go to two year look at that it's doing the same thing because we're looking at the same time frame right now is this in here going to do what the one year did right but if because if you look at that over here that's where it would be and is it going to cut through that is it going to go down possibly ambition ah nice ambition thank you for telling me how to how to pronounce your name evil to hope would you recommend fo focusing on a few shares shares high cost stocks or a higher uh, quantity of low cost stocks i would say diversify into both here's the three-year chart right for tesla like look at this thing right here's the five-year chart and five-year chart you no longer have the 200 day 200 month period oh yeah we forgot to mention the month so on the three year you're still in a weekly basis take a look at this and you can change this by by the way you could change it to a monthly and it just smooths the whole thing out right but keep it on a weekly on a three-year basis you could change it on a daily it's going to be really noisy look at that they can't even do it it won't even do it actually right when you go to five year now it's doing it on a monthly basis you can do this on a weekly as well let's see if you'll do it it does do it nice so here's a weekly for a five-year chart 50 week average the black line 200 week average and the weekly average price right for tesla as of july 11th i guess right 2021 right and then 10 year evil tool i appreciate all of this guaranteed financial advice you're giving i am going to put everything i have into the market now don't do it here's the 10 year right 10 year quarterly this thing's just insane right tesla just basically came about 10 years ago right here's the all right like 11 years ago it came to be so in 10 years it's done this this thing wants to do the calculation on a quarterly basis but not enough data so let's change it to a monthly basis let's see what we see here it is on a monthly basis can we do it on a weekly basis weekly basis we should get the 200 day as well nice so the victitious then so lin vicious victus 10 wow right indeed now let me tell you for family i had bought into tesla for them back in 2010 2011 okay 2010 2011 stock price was after split tesla did a five for one split or one to five yeah five for one split it was 25 dollars at the time now it's five dollars now it's 650 dollars. that's your return right and this is what it looks like right now 
on a 10 year basis on a weekly chart okay can we even do it will it even do a daily i doubt it oh a daily doesn't no it won't do a daily it kicks back into quarterly right how much of my total assets should be in the market which market you mean wall street What's the best frequency to use? It's up to you. I think you should take a look at all of them. Sleepy ways. The more data you have, the better. Okay. So as far as I'm concerned, take a look at the weekly and take a look at the monthly. Right? Wow, this is seriously above the monthly average. Right? Take a look at both of them. Nothing wrong with it yeah what percent should be in wall street uh for me i got zero percent on wall street okay just letting you know now we've done this let's look at tilray let's bring up another chart let's store the setting let's go tilray disclaimer gang family has oh how come tilray is not coming up on market watch don't tell me it doesn't do till, right? Oh, maybe more. No, Market Watch must do advanced search. Let's do advanced search. Let's see. Tilray search. Advanced search keywords, new source. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does Tilray Market Watch. I don't know why I wouldn't do Tilray. Maybe Tilray's market cap. Here, we can go here. Let's look at Tilray. All right. It's on the NASDAQ. It should do it, but it's not. Let's see Tilray Inc. Copy. All right. Here's Tilray. They are censoring Tilray. Honestly, <laughs> it's even more of a reason to <laughs> to go buy this stock. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Let's do a search again. Tilray. Oh, there it is. Nice. I don't know why I wasn't doing it. Let's do the Canadian. There you go. What the hell? Investment in free stocks. So we're going to go to advanced charting again. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have very much data on it. Why not? Oh, it's only got this much data on it? That's pooper scooper. What? What? Okay, hold on. Let's do another search. Tilray. Let's do the NASDAQ. Maybe the NASDAQ data has more. Right. And by the way, certain stocks trade on multiple uh, exchanges, right? So Tilray trades on the Canadian uh, stock exchange, I believe in Vancouver, or was it TSX? No, it must be TSX. Um, NASDAQ, and as well as the France one, I believe. I'm down to look at Hexo, if not, at the sad uh sad ass data i know hexo hexo and tilray i family has uh disclaimer family has positions in both uh tilray and hexo uh take a look at this so this is 10 year let's go to five year let's go to three year here's the three year chart let's do the daily oh i won't do the daily it doesn't have enough data so three year uh, chart for Tilray it doesn't really give you too much information it tells you where it started where it ended up uh, how high it went and where it is now so the peak on it is $148 $150 right right now it's trading in $14 that's 90% below its peak for me when a legit company in a legit market is 90% below their peak 
is a good time to seriously start looking at them when they're 95 percent and possibly build a position in them when they're 95 percent below their peak if it's a legitimate company in a legitimate market it's a might be a good time to build a heavy position in them if it's 99 percent below their top and it's a legitimate company in the legitimate market personally i have gone heavy on certain stocks on that way in the past would you suggest investment in energy futures no futures is a different game man futures is a different game here's the two-year chart let's do daily nice we're getting all right and take a look at this thing Tilray is fluctuates a lot. That's a 200 day moving average, the green, right? Why is it like that? It was because, you know, if you did the three year chart, it was trading at $146, $150. Here's the one year chart, right? Again, there was a huge peak. It went from, and by the way, gang, when it was trading down here at around, you know less than 10 less than 5 when it was around 250 because it went from 19 dollars and then covid uh lockdowns hit it dropped down to 253 dollars and i sort of said it's it's a company that i'm seriously looking at seriously looking at and i sort of recommend that it might be a great company to buy into in from there it went from 253 dollars and it peaked at 60 over 60 dollars right and during that time i was saying i would be selling 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 and for me i've mentioned that and it came down and right now family disclaimer has position in tilray right now take a look at this thing above way above the 50 day and 200 day right way above and it's gone exponential uh, logarithmic exponential did you buy at three dollars uh sleepways i can't say uh information i can only tell you that i personally i have not gone into the market okay but i did recommend to people that might be a good i mean i did it online as well right uh during the live streams i was mentioned it a few times i think you were really asking me sleepy waves was it you that was really pushing which ones which ones can you tell us your social security <laughs> able to uh, do any of uh, the free speech platforms sell stocks um i don't know elder god right and then what it's doing is it started dropping down like mad doing bounces bouncing off the 50 day going up to you know bouncing off the 50 day which was 21 dollars going up to 30 something and then went cut through the 50 day and bounced below the 50 day and then came down hit the 200 day bounced the 200 day hit the 50 day bounced the 200 day broke through the 200 day right that's not a good sign and then went back up skimmed the 200 day went up went into a channel broke on the upside on the 50 day right love i love uh, yes i wanted to learn about them and look at me now still learning about uh, sleepy waves there's nothing wrong with learning about these things it took me a long time to get a handle on the markets right now tillery went above the 50 day right and the 50 day was 18 and the uh 50 uh exponential moving average 50 day was 18 the 200 day was 15 and the stock traded at 21 looked like it was going to do a breakout and then it broke through the 50 day and kept on bouncing between the 50 and 200 day now if you look at zoom into this it's hit the 200 day here this is the three months chart we're looking at this is a daily right hit the 200 day came up to the 50 day did a little bounce and then broke through the 50 day went up above the 50 day cut through the 50 day again came back down tried to bounce above went above came back down sort of fluctuating between the 50 day now it's gone and hit the 200 day right and it's trading below the 200 day moving average that's pressure right that's pressure did it do that before sure it did right here see this it went below the 200 day now one thing you have to consider is it's important as well is the direction that the 50 day and the 200 day are taking are they on the way down or on the way up 
when they're on the way up they pull a stock up when they're way on the way down they pull a stock down all right right now the 50 day and 200 days seem to be fairly flat for tilray important right oh, looks like the 50 day is on the way down but the 200 day still has an uptrend to it right elder god i like to invest for the future money is great but protecting the financial future of my nieces is my primary objective yeah indeed you got it we got to take care of family because they were they are one of the best investments that anyone can make because for most people your family will be there when you need them right you're investing in your future right they will be there till your last breath for most people right so is tilray a good buy it's under heavy pressure it's under heavy pressure right but it's below the 200 day is it going to do a repeat and go hit the 50 day and keep on going up or is it going to continue to go down and you can say the same thing regarding tesla right that was good data we looked at gang i'm going to turn my camera back on because uh, we're up to two hours okay and uh, we covered a fair bit let me turn on the chat as well ah the kitty cats are waking up boom lots of chat lots of chitter chat whoop they're playing elder god evil no evil to hope the family are very valuable in the right market remember so high <laughs> funny elder god money is a tool not the holy grail indeed a lot of people forget that right they think money is the end game it's not so the data said it can go either way basically right it the, the data basically told us there's going to be movement happening with Tilray, right which way is it going to go back where we started back where we started <laughs> indeed indeed <laughs> elder god seven movie club oh nice let's pick seven. Oh, nice gang we got one more stream coming up in this set and that's on saturday thank you elder god saturday from 1 p.m to 3 p.m pdt my time we're gonna recommend movies and watch movies for our movie club streams that we do so we're gonna get some homework uh, movie homework that we need to we need to do to watch some movies we just went, did a movie review last stream yesterday and we're going to pick movies on saturday if you can make it so drinking water out of a cup made of one dollar bills won't give me eternal life no i'll probably kill you it'll probably kill you i'm jealous it's 11 p.m your time and not 1 a.m like it is in the east coast yeah uh, nightlife is not a bad life i don't mind nightlife I want good nominations this time. Me too. No Buck Rogers, please. Steve Weiss, thank you, Chicho, for this breakdown. I really enjoyed looking at the data. My pleasure. I have my nominations ready. Nice. I got to get mine ready. I got to think. Gang, thank you for being here. If you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a good way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share a like gang share and share a like and for those of you that support this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support evil to hope thank you choo choo for sharing your knowledge inside and humor <laughs> my pleasure i like the humor part we are live streaming on twitch twitch tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be out in gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs and mods thank you for taking care of business elder god financial streamers someone nomination a good financial based movie oh it's good. yeah not a bad idea let me think about that too what's a good financial uh movie 
financial series one is uh an anime it was an amazing series had a lot of currency involved i would i would have loved to have talked about currency in, in this as well maybe in the next one we'll take a look at currencies gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor bit clout and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord link right there right and you're welcome to join us um, on that server wall street with michael Dice. i was thinking about that too punisher max <laughs> right greed is good greed is very good there's amazing wall street documentaries uh, by the way market documentaries wolf of wall street is really good too i've seen that and the other one uh the one about the housing market uh with, with the guy calling the puts uh with uh the batman guy hey, that was really good i forget what it was called we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this live stream, The Big Short. Yes, Bugsy. That was a great movie. And we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And for those of you that are supporting this work on all these platforms or any of these platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support. The kitty cats are doing a little wrestling and gang don't forget as always free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. aside from that gang i'll see you in a couple of days saturday 1 p.m to 3 p.m my time or 1 p.m starting my time for movie recommendations is there one on the wall street crash of uh 20 uh 1929 i've seen one black and white one i can't remember what the name was it was pretty good there was one that was recent what was it oh man that was a brilliant movie that was a charlie chaplin movie there was a charlie chaplin movie that does it it was really good we'll try to be there awesome clandestine gang i hope you have a fantastic next couple of days I'll see you guys on Saturday if you can make it. Bye, everyone.